on Clearwater Beach. It's 57 degrees. The water temp is about 70, so it feels warm. I am doing cold water acclimation. I swam 68 degree water five hours this week, and I'm trying to see how low can I go comfortably. With the air temperature 57 and the water 70, it feels nice. It doesn't feel too cold. It's a little rough. I'm gonna take a swim with a group in about an hour. I'm just taking a walk on the beach right now. The wind is from the northeast. I can feel a little current headed south. So it'll be easier swimming south. When you acclimate to cold water, you never want to just jump in. You want to slowly get used to it so that it's not a shock to your body. Cold water should not be shocking. I know that it's good for my joints and muscles and is helpful. And what I plan on doing is spending 10 minutes a day or more in cold water at 70 degrees and go lower. I have a backyard pool that's not heated and I find when I move around, I can tolerate it. But if I just sit there up to my neck, it's too cold. So really it's better to put your face in the water and swim around a little bit. As it gets too cold, maybe I will readjust and do eight minutes or five minutes. And this is without a wetsuit. I want to see what's comfortable for my body. Another tip is to wear two bathing caps or to wear a neoprene cap. You can put booties on or little gloves. So I'm just gonna, going to be experimenting with cold water swimming. Hi everyone, welcome to another swim video. Today's topic is cold water acclimation. I'm no expert, just someone experimenting with swimming in cold water. My experimentation is seasonal or annual, as well as continuous over the years. The most important questions to ask yourself are, why am I doing this and what are my goals? As I acclimate to the cold water, I do a lot of listening, observing, and asking others how they do it. Cold water comfort has to do with gradual experimentation in slightly lower temps for longer periods of time. I like watching YouTube videos, mainly swimmers from around the world who have no choice but to swim in cold open water conditions. Your progression is going to be different from mine. For six years, I've been able to comfortably swim in 72 degree water, even if the outdoor temp is 45, cloudy and rainy. The picture on the right is Rainbow River, which is always 72 degrees. Sometimes I'm the only one in a group without a wetsuit. It might take me longer to get going, but I'm happy to take my time. Let's take a brief look at my recent swimming. As you might guess, this is a snapshot of a time period. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of acclimation to be able to swim in 68 degree water without a wetsuit for five hours. Take a look at the November 11th entry. I was completely comfortable and periodically made a fist in the water as I was swimming to check to see if my fingers moved free and easy. In this three week period of time, my goal was to be able to last three hours in 62 or 63 degree water on December 1st for a swim around Shell Key. I made another video on that if you'd like to look it up. I did two open water swims a week, one on Sunday, which was usually close to an hour, and another long swim during the week. On the other five days, I would go in my unheated pool for 10 minutes a day. My final open water planned swim for the season so far is December 10th, a three mile swim, and it's estimated to be around 67 degree water temp, so I'm not worried about that. Let's talk about swimming in the cold water with friends. It's important to know each other's limits so you can keep an eye on each other. Here's a photo of three different occasions with different people. On the top left is Jean, Mike, and me. Jean was visiting from New York where she swims in her indoor infinity pool in the basement, 65 degree water temp. Her last open water swim was three months ago and she knew her limit was about 45 minutes in 64 degrees, which is exactly what we ended up doing on that day, December 5th at Clearwater Beach. 
Mike and I both have the same goal of seeing how low we can go. He will add layers as it gets colder, and I might be dropping out for the season when it's no longer enjoyable. In the photo on the top right, this was on a Friday, November 26th, Vanessa and I planned to do a 6.4 mile swim around Isle of Palms and Capri Isle near Treasure Island. The water temp was about 67 degrees, and 15 minutes into the swim, Vanessa collided with an underground buoy with sharp barnacles cutting up her arms and armpit. A little later, her wetsuit was a little too restrictive on the neck, so she said that she wasn't going to make the whole swim. We revised our plan and chose to swim around the Isle of Palms only, making it a 3.4 mile swim instead of 6.4 miles. That was a smart thing to do. Also, Vanessa is slower than I am, so I had to decide what to do in order to keep moving and not wait in the cold water. I chose to go a little slower and stay somewhat close to her. The bottom left photo is from my Shell Key swim on December 1st with Ken. I had high anxiety about the water temp the night before and didn't want to spend more than 2 hours and 45 minutes in 62 to 64 degree water. Ken had a wetsuit, so he was confident, but didn't want to have to rescue me if I had hypothermia near a remote island. I had my cell phone and a small towel in my buoy. We started at 8 a.m. when the air temp was 57 and climbing, and it was sunny. We took our time getting into the water. I was very comfortable, and fortunately, the swim took us just a little more than two hours. This was my first swim where I wore silicone earplugs and three layers of swim caps, one of those being a neoprene cap. I will continue to see what I can do, and when I'm not enjoying it, I'll take a break. Cold water swimming is fun. Give it a try. Here are some short videos from my daily pool excursions. It's 68 degrees out, 70 degree pool temperature, but it feels cold because it's cloudy out. So I think some of this cold water experience is psychological. I've done my 11 minutes today, so I'm getting out soon. Bye. Acclimation, day three of being in the cold water. I did 10 minutes three days ago. Yesterday I did over five hours, and today just 10 minutes. Let's see how my joints like it. With this 10 minute daily cold water therapy, my main thought is I'm not gonna die. So although it might be a little chilly, I'm not gonna die. I just swam underwater for quite a while and I noticed it was very cold on the forehead at 64 degrees. So I only have one. So it reminds me to wear two, two plus a neoprene cap. I have also never had gasping for air or sloppy stroke in the cold water. So I know that my acclimation is going well because I'm not experiencing any pre-hypothermia. Okay, today feels kind of cold, but just give me a minute and it's feeling better. Let me put my face in. Not bad. When you do it gradually, you can tolerate more. Every day is different. Today's 64 feels colder than yesterday's 64 because of a number of factors. What is your body temperature? What time of day? What is the outdoor air temperature? When I go into the water, I like to trust my body and feel how I feel, not go by a measurement device. Mer Americans are very much into measurements. And so what I think that might do to me is if I measure it first and then I assume, oh no, what does 62 degrees say? And then I feel after I put faith into the measurement device. So I'm walking in slowly. I don't know, I'm gonna guess it's about 64. I'm gonna put it in right now. I've been putting it in after I get out. So let me just put it in for a minute or two and see what it says and see if it affects me. So I kind of would rather not know what the device says and instead go with my body. It's feeling kind of cold. I'm gonna say it's feeling about 62. I'm up to my waist. Okay, let me pick this up. 
it is 64, maybe 65. See, so why did I need this? I really, really don't want to do this. Somebody help me. What do you do when you really don't want to do something and it's all optional and voluntary? Okay, let me just force, let me just try not to think about it and do it. The greater good is that I want to swim around islands in Tampa Bay. Red tide kind of put a wrench into that and delayed things. And so I want to squeeze in one more island in the next five days for the year. So in order to do that safely, I need to make sure I spend some time in the cold water every day. Anyways, why am I doing this? I'm not a hero. I am just, you know, again, seeing what can my body do. And I think it's getting close to an enjoyable, comfortable temperature. <laughs>